All right, morning guys. Uh, Merry Christmas to me. Got a box of snares from Southern Snare Company out of Georgia. I've not ever ordered snares before, but uh, I thought I would this time just to kind of see what you get, you know. But uh, what I ordered was a beaver snare special. And uh, let's see what all you get here. Looks like you get a bottle of lure, beaver lure, tree hugger from uh, Old South Lures. That's not a very big bottle, but you know, let's take a whiff there. You want to? I bet it smells sweet. <laughs> oh man, that's musky. That's musky right there. I hope a little dab do you. Otherwise, that ain't going to last a real long time. But anyway. Uh, <coughs> also got a pair of pliers. Another pair of pliers. Not really heavy duty, but hey, you know. That's alright. And... On the shipping packing list, it says it's a three and a half pound trapper's wire. I don't know if that's a number 11 or a number 14, but either way, and it looks like we got a, got a little decal there. Got a business card. Oh, check this out. The key to heaven was hung on a nail. Huh. Okay. Well, I may be ordering from them again. Sound like it's a Christian company. And uh, here on my receipt, they say, thank you, Robert. God bless you. I mean, people just don't do stuff like that hardly anymore. But anyway, this is what we ordered. This is what we was waiting on right here. So, well, uh, these are just... Uh, aircraft cable I believe we're seven by seven aircraft cable yeah all right got this one out so anyway you can see here the parts the parts to the snare this right here is what you call a whammy. And you set it back here. Let's just say, for example, you want the loop to be this big. Well, you put that whammy right out here. And, of course, you coil your support wire out around a tree or a stake or whatever you got. But you put that... Uh, wire up in that whammy and it holds your snare in in shape in position where you want it to be which is very important and then uh so that's a whammy and sometimes they're springs sometimes they're made out of a little uh coil spring looks kind of like a miniature uh, ice cream cone 
<laughs> you know, the V-shaped ones. But anyway, uh, and this right here is a deer stop. And that is just what it does, too. Uh, I got to look it up and, and see. But I think it's, I got to have it set for three inches. In other words, so when I get my snare set, if I do, if a deer does step in it and it tightens up, well, uh, you know, if I have it cramped right here at, at three inches, I think it is, like I said, I got to check. But um, the deer will be able to pull his foot out. So that's the importance of that. And then, of course, down here, you have your swivel and you can you put your wire um, you know wherever you're going to secure it or your loop there's all different ways to do it uh, if you're going to anchor it down in the ground earth anchor you'd tie it off right here as well because you don't want to catch a, the critter and then him run off on you <laughs> you know so but we're gonna have to paint these up, kind of take the shine off of them. You can see they they shine pretty good, and uh, especially on a full moon night, you know, you don't need it to to be shining. So we'll uh, we'll get some. I got some green right here, and then we got some light brown there we'll uh kind of camo them up a little bit but uh one thing that you want and this one don't have it right now but you want it to close up quick you know like if a critter comes in here uh you don't want to do like that you know because he'll have to pull his head through there and you don't want that so you have to do you have to do what we call loading the snare which is work it against a nail or a steel uh, of some kind right in this area right here and uh, I got a nail right here on the table I'm gonna give it a give it a go here you just you don't want to you don't want to go too much because, you know, too much to be bad. <laughs> but anyway, let's see what that does. Now, try some more. All right, let's give it a whirl. Nope. Well, I don't usually don't usually take this many times. But you want to slam shut. can see it makes it more round too not teardrops Let's try this here. There you go. See if you have it in this area here. 
and he goes in, see how it slams, slam shut. Sometimes it just takes a while. You got to play with it, and there, there you go. That's, that's pretty good right there. Plus, I usually do use this steel rod back here behind me. Uh, I just drove this nail in right here to try it, but but you can tell the difference there, and because you don't want the critter to come through and it just do like that on him, because he'll he'll jump back on you. He won't continue to go through. But anyway, that's kind of that's kind of how you do it. Uh, maybe. Oh yeah, see. Maybe uh next day or two before I put this out, well maybe I can uh set one of them on camera and uh let you see that cuz I just know you guys need to learn this stuff. You just you just do. <laughs> You can't never tell. It's a crazy world, man. And snares are kind of considered, uh, you know, survivor prep people and stuff. But I just like it because look here, it's it's lightweight, you know, and uh, you can carry a whole bunch of them. There's a dozen right there, you know, and. Uh, First off, if you can remember where all all 12 of them are, you're ahead of the game. <laughs> I mean, when you get it out in the field. But uh, they'll catch a lot of critters, and hopefully we'll, we'll see that. So, anyway, uh, just pass it on, guys. And uh, like, share, subscribe. That way, next time I put a video up subscribe and hit that bell and it'll let you know when another uh old dude outdoors video comes out and uh but uh anyway i'll talk to y'all later thank you bye